everybody. It's time for another story. This one is also by Matt Whitlock, whom we've heard a lot of stories from him, haven't we? This one is called Hear No Weevil. What's that sound like? Sounds like Hear No Evil, doesn't it? So the name of the character is Weevil, all right? Hear No Weevil, and it's a story about temptation. I'll show you the cover. This is Weevil. Oh, it sounds like it's a good one. We'll find that first page. Okay, here we go. There's a creepy bug you better fear. He's living deep inside your ear. A regular liar and constantly evil. Mr. Fibface, the crusty bull weevil. Pages are coming out in this book, so I have to be careful. He flits around from ear to ear. His voice is soft, his message clear. He'll tell you wrong is sometimes right. Mm, that's not good, is it? And then he'll fly away, far out of sight. Look at this. You can see where he's been flying, can't you? But though he's gone, his words remain. They start to seep into your brain. Temptations quickly volunteer, and soon the truth is not so clear. Weevil's coming. He's looking gross, but he'll find a kid to listen close. This bug is full of bad advice. Being mean is more fun than nice. That's one thing he said. Mm, is that right? He loves the school, so in he zooms. Hey, listen, Mike. This joint's a tomb, but you could make the whole class laugh. Just say that Jill's a big giraffe. Ooh, is that something that he should do? But the weevil's telling him, isn't he? Temptation. Weevil jets to the local store and points out something on the floor. Patty, look! A dollar! Wow! The lady dropped it. Grab it now. Mmm. Is that something Patty should do? Jenny is the sweetest thing. She'd love to have that plastic ring. A buggy voice makes her eardrum tickle. Take it, Jen. It's just a nickel. It's just five cents. Take it. Should she take it? But Jenny's not a silly fool. She's learned some things in Sunday school. She knows her thoughts aren't always pure and prays whenever she's unsure. Wow, that is a very good thing to do. See, she's talking to God about whether she should take that ring from the store. When Weevil's words get in her head, she just asks God what to do instead. I'd like to keep it, but that'd be wrong. I'll put it back where it belongs. Weevil's got that evil grin. He loves to make the children sin. If Tim and Sue and Chelsea fall, Weevil thinks that's best of all. He gears up for a swift attack, but something stops him in his tracks. Perhaps these kids have gotten wise and haven't listened to his lies. Jenny's gathered all her friends. She's got advice to recommend. You know that bug just can't be trusted. Sorry, Weevil, you've been busted.
I'm only joking, Weevil pleads. I'd never do those evil deeds. But Jenny, Chelsea, Tim, and Sue send that bug to Timbuktu far away. Oops, did it fall? There you go. So if there's twitching in your ear, watch out for Weevil buzzing near. Pray you'll lose that nasty bug, because praying makes good earplugs. Let's see if I can turn this around so we can see. That was a really good story, wasn't it? Now, we know there's not really something called Weevil that talks to us and makes us do things wrong, don't we? But... What a great story because it's about temptation and temptation is real. Temptation is when we want to do something that's wrong, that goes against what God wants. So what, what that little girl said in here about praying to God when we're not sure about something, whether it's right or wrong, that's really good advice. That's, that was a good story, wasn't it? All right, I want you to remember what that story was about this week. Okay, and be careful when you are tempted to do the wrong thing. Talk to God.